It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says the Sifu decides who the Sifu wants to see but is willing to let you give it a try. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit of blood on your hands. That's something you have in common. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the world eaters destroy the Tree of Life should be an easy decision. He didn't expect that of you. You were born bad so you could do good in this world. That weak mind of yours has made you soft. He'll give you a chance to change your mind before you leave and asks you to reconsider. Then so be it. He wants you to know that they'll show no mercy at the end of this war and offers you a last chance to come back and join when you realize you've picked the wrong side. Zoom ilem dat nipi. 
And with that, he urges you to seek protection at Myriad Stone Fort before word gets out that you've chosen not to side with them. He disagrees, and the day you meet again, you'll understand why. It's time to say goodbye for now. And if it's not the kind of goodbye that lasts forever, then the next will mean the end for you. Let's see. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Been taking your vitamins. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded.
This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Let's see. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. They've already got word of an intruder, so he guesses the Sifu must be very interested in meeting you. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. The wall that separates them from the other side? The wasteland you came from? He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. There were six of them, but the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values, and when the blight started, the animosity escalated to war. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Even though you don't share their values, they hope you'll lead with mercy. The outcome of this war is up to you. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon.
Once you've dealt with the rivals' outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. He understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. Do 
Rosa. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. But you need practice, lots of practice. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know, practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders, sometimes he's an expert, but sometimes he just does what's right. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? If confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. 
Huri Kumbala Mua. The most important thing is that you're okay. Boila Kudo. It's time to focus on your training now. Here's someone close to heart doing what he does best. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Moomer too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. Why and food they are high. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. Yeah. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Amun. Hopes you're as ready as you claim to be. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Andro? A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. You should think of it as watching over you when she can't. 
Pial Tuma. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder. It says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing can stop Luca Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Andro? Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory.
As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on.